Hey guys, just wanted to put up this video of basically our journey of how we converted this vehicle, this uh, 33 seater school bus, into a fully livable camper van, which we've been living on for the last year, really. So let's get started. This is what it looked like when we first went to see it. We um, Luckily the guy took those seats out for us so we didn't have to deal with them all. Uh, it was a bus, as buses are. Steps, swooshy doors, cab, the works. Like We took it for a bit of a test drive. It was big at the petrol station and very, very yellow, but that didn't deter us. We were determined to find a different way to live, so we were happy. This is me um, at our house basically figuring out if it would fit in front of the house. Uh, the reason we went so big is because we've got all these instruments that we had to fit into our motorhome, so we had to go big. So that was it, we bought it, it arrived, it was quite big on the drive, uh, landlady didn't really appreciate it, but luckily they had some land around the back, so this is where we actually did all the work. So we got cracking on. First things first was rip out, get rid of that bussy smell, um, we found out that basically everything was leaking, the windows were leaking, the roof lights were leaking. There was water getting in everywhere, so the smell was pretty bad. So we just got rid of everything we could. Anything that wasn't part of the chassis or the frame was ripped out. So that was all the carpets, on the walls, all the boards, all the insulation, just everything really. It was quite a fun job, to be honest. Like, as you can see, it's just sort of starting to get clearer and clearer. Managed to get rid of that bussy smell, which was good. Just like found out where all the water was coming from. If it didn't come out easy, it got multi-tooled out. Useful, useful tool in these sort of projects. Like along with chisels, obviously, and naturally full PPE for Emily. <laughs> this is it. Basically cleaned out now. Ready for ready for the conversion. Looking good first job was to basically make the bus secure so I could leave stuff in there just got a van lock which is just drilled through and stuck on first process was taping out because we were so excited just to have a look at what was going down inside underneath was a few old things that needed taken out like the old bus heating and I was just generally looking at the sort of situation under there ready for thinking about tanks and all the stuff going under there so the first job was taking out the windows to get rid of the watery leakiness. The way that we did this was putting in wooden frames, basically just made up some frames, put them in the space nice and tight so they needed hammering in and then we basically just fixed the metal to the frames with some super strong Silkaflex adhesive which is like proper body stuff. That was it then in, the first one was done, basically had my technique, um, whilst that was gluing we'd, I'd pillaged a load of this insulation from work from a roofing job that I was doing so that then became our roof. So we cut it all down to size and got it all in nice and the first layer of insulation was in. So all the frames were basically just fixed into the aluminium. Um, dead easy just drilling and screwing and then I found out the best way to stick them was to use a load of scaffold boards just to basically use some weight to hold them on so I have my process now second one was in it was just a case of carrying on and getting it going Emily was busily helping wherever she could so she was helping screw some frames together and just as you can see third one was in starting to actually look like something now that isn't a bus sort of lost it a little bit as we did a lot of gluing of the uh, that second layer of insulation there and um, the spray glue is pretty potent along with the red lead which this was a bit of rust treatment on the floor used a bit of KU and then the red lead on top just to uh, to treat the rusty little bits so there you have it the outside looking good all four panels are in this side that was that job done four panels on this side. The panel at the bottom there was a bit broken so I ragged it off to deal with later on. So internally now we're basically pretty good with the insulation, solid insulation in the walls and then different layers. 
Outside, underneath, I had uh, the old chair lift which needed taken out, which was a lot of wasted weight, so few few moments with the angle grinder later, got it out. It was a bit of a scary sound when it came out, so I was happy to still be alive, as you can see here. It was, um, yeah, that note basically said, sorry Tim, uh, can't move this, it's way too heavy, you're going to have to deal with it. Which he did eventually with one of his machines, legend. That was the landlord. So this is then setting out for the windows, obviously all the panels are in, we wanted some light coming in. So basically set out on the inside, drilled some holes through the corners, and then projected that onto the outside as you can see, made the drill holes bigger. Um, so that you could connect all of the holes and know you're going to get it through in the right place. And then basically I just took the jigsaw with a good metal blade on and PPE, cut the hole out, ready, yep, as you can see, cut the hole out. I was pretty excited about that, as you can see. <laughs> um, then fitting the window was fairly straightforward, it was just a case of putting a load more silica flex on the inside of the window and stuck it into the hole basically. Um, the internal part of the window screwed into the outside frame and pulled it all nice and tight and that was that. So while I was doing that M was busy red leading the steps because they were pretty corroded from all the water getting in from the dodgy doors which I think I'd disposed of at that point. So. Um, busily starting on the woodwork which I've been really looking forward to so I was panelling off the back end there and starting to run the lats up and down the wall sort of lost it a little bit as you can see it's a beautiful sunny day and I decided it was a good idea to try some paint on the outside of the bus which um, made it look slightly messy but it was a first thought to how we were actually going to do the paintwork so so cracked on with the windows, we had several more windows to put in, another window hole in there as you can see, thinking about what we're going to do with the doors, I wasn't really sure at that point. Um, those are the two side windows in there now, that's um, those two complete. As you can see it does look a bit messy on the outside but oh well, no one was bothered. Just prepping for the back work, oh that white paint was basically to prepare the metal ready for the window. Um, all the windows are in now, we've got a hatch window in at the front, which is an awesome window in the living space. So then I went up onto the top and took out the old roof lights, which were also uh, leaky and horrible. First one was out, it was a bit of a mission, as you can see the multi-tools at it again, it was a good help. Um, then that's that. <laughs> roof light was in, it was the same sort of process as fitting it as the windows, lots of sealing up and stuff. The back roof light I basically ended up fiberglassing over. So the doors, we settled on these caravan-y sort of style doors because we couldn't find any truck doors anywhere for it so I had to figure out how to put these doors in that hole. So I just trimmed out, um, put wood to the size of the door as close as I could so it would fit in and then had to put more metal on so I got my scaffold boards back out more goop and then there we go the door was in job done it's serving as well the other side however wasn't supposed to have a door in but my nine inch angle grinder said there was going to be a door in that side and I found a step as well so it was destiny so then that was that, more trimming out, more bits of wood, more gluing metal, door in, screwed in, gooped in. And then that was pretty much the bodywork externally sorted. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm going to be putting together the rest of the photos from the rest of the conversion in some upcoming videos. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and see you next time.